thank you for joining me on this week's episode of At Home with President Papazian. Now that the spring semester is wrapped up, uh, we're beginning to plan uh, even more intentionally for the fall. And uh, part of that, uh, of course, depends on the financials and how the state budget discussions unfold. So I'd like to spend a little time this morning focusing on some of those questions. Now let's turn to today's topic, which is the state budget. Economic times, we all know, are very tough right now for individuals, for families, for our students, and certainly it's true for the state as well. On May 14th, Governor Newsom issued his revised budget, and we now can begin planning to, and understanding what the frame for next year will look like. What started out in January as a $200 million increase for the CSU, has now turned into a almost $400 million decrease. That's a significant loss for us. It will have an impact, and we are working very hard to ensure that we minimize that impact on our students, on our core mission, on our faculty and our staff. In recent years, the legislature and the governor have been extremely supportive of the CSU and by extension of San Jose State, and for that we are most grateful. And we know in this environment they will do their best as well. Fortunately, we have received some funding from the federal government through the CARES Act. We received $28 million, um, half of which we have already dispersed to students in need. The other half of which is designed to support the impact of COVID related changes on our campus. These are things like the investment we've had to make in cleaning, disinfectant, personal protective equipment, the cost of actually transitioning courses to an online environment and the IT infrastructure that that required. And also the loss of actual revenues in areas like housing and dining and parking and others. Uh, so we're very grateful for that. It's not enough, but it helps us with some of the most significant challenges. We also were able to receive about two million in minority serving institution funding from the federal government. And that too will enable us to support student academic needs as we move into a primarily virtual environment for the fall. We continue to work with the budget leaders in the legislature and uh, in the governor's office, uh, working through the CSU and with our own um, delegation to encourage them to support the CSU in part because we are so significant to the recovery of the state. The CSU and San Jose State produce a significant number of the teachers, the frontline healthcare workers, the scientists, and so many others who make our communities work. And so an investment in the CSU, particularly at a time of economic challenge, is a very, very important investment. We know the legislature understands that. We know the governor has been supportive, and we encourage them to continue to keep CSU as a top priority as we move into this budget cycle. I'm sure this budget uncertainty is creating a great deal of stress and anxiety for many of you, for our faculty and staff who are worrying about their jobs and what impact this will have. And I want to assure you that we will do all we can to trim our budget in all other areas so that we can continue to support you. You are such an integral part to our ability to deliver on our mission. And to our students and prospective students, you may be wondering if this is the time to come to San Jose State, will you get the quality education that you know that you deserve and that we provide? And I want to assure you that that is true, you will. This is the time to lean in. Our faculty is working very hard, our staff is working very hard to ensure that they are prepared to offer a vibrant, engaged learning experience for you when you join us in the fall, whether in person or virtually. We have over a thousand faculty members already signed up for a summer workshop to think and learn about the new ways of teaching in a virtual environment. This will be a very thoughtful, well-planned approach for the fall. It will also include a great deal of thinking around student engagement and life outside of campus. There are so many ways to connect as a community and I applaud our staff in student affairs and across the university for the work they're doing to welcome you to San Jose State when you join us in the fall. As the budget environment at the state level begins to take more and more shape, we will have more clarity to inform our planning as we prepare for the investments we need to make and the changes we need to make in our approach to budgeting for the fall. 
We will be doing that with our core mission in mind and thinking about how we can best support the teaching and learning environment for our students and support the working environment for our faculty and staff. So thank you for all your patience with us as we work through this process. I'd like to take a moment to thank some unsung heroes, people who work every day behind the scenes to ensure that the San Jose State community runs well and that our students are supported. So let me start with the team in the Bursar's office, led by Teresa Schmidt. Her team of Jen, Lynn, Lorena, and Brian oversee the cashiering, students' accounts, and tower cards. But most importantly, they have overseen the distribution of over $12 million from the CARES Act that went directly to support our students during these emergency times. This is important work and we're so appreciative. Thank you too to the distribution services team led by Sonia Bowski. Her team includes Joel, John, and Mo, and they too have been coming in every day to ensure that the mail, parcels, and the shipments are all received and dispersed across campus. And they too have been overseeing the outgoing mail of CARES Act funds to our students. And finally, a special thank you to the payment services and finance support teams led by Kim Gamblin and Shauna Rios. Together with Amy, Tao, and Tree, they come in each week to make sure that the campus payments are all made on time and that checks are issued. And Doug Ward, joins them as the second signer on all accounts. Essential services, we're grateful. Thank you all. I want to assure you that I will continue to work hard with my team and with the team in the chancellor's office to advocate for the CSU, to advocate for San Jose State and its students, and to do what we can to ensure that we provide the most stability possible in a time of tremendous uncertainty.